Hi and welcome to Ink Express. Today we'll talk you through the steps and show you how to download and set up an ICC profile in Adobe Photoshop on Mac OS Big Sur. For those that aren't sure what an ICC profile is, it is a file created and provided in our sublimation packages to help improve the colour tone and accuracy of your sublimation prints. Here we talk you through how to download your custom profile and select the correct settings when using Adobe Photoshop. We provide all of our sublimation packages with a disk copy of the profile, so for those that don't have a disk drive we can email it over and you can download it from there. So if you were receiving your profile via email, you will need to click the download icon on the attachment and that will automatically save the profile in your downloads folder. Next, you will need to open your downloads folder. Here you will see the profile we have just downloaded. The next steps will show you where to save it to so it can be loaded in Photoshop when applying your settings. Okay, so we click go down to computer. We select Macintosh HD, open the library folder and select Color Sync and Profiles. Here you should see all of the colour profiles that are currently loaded on your Mac. We now need to move the profile that we have just downloaded into this folder. So simply drag and drop the profile from one folder to the other. You may be asked to enter your password. So enter the password and click OK. The profile is now saved in the correct place and ready for you to open Photoshop and apply your print settings. In this example we open Photoshop with an image that is sized ready to print. We start by selecting File and Print from the toolbar. Make sure you have your printer selected in the Printer Setup section. Then we move to the Colour Management settings. Here we change the colour handling to Photoshop Manages Colours. We select the Printer Profile as the profile we have previously downloaded. So this will be named IE underscore Inktext Sublanova and then your printer model will be listed. You can see that rendering intent has four options. We generally use the perceptual or relative colour metric option here, but you can select any of these to change the final result. If we go to print settings, we need to click on the box under paper size, which usually says layout. Change this to print settings. Change your media type to Epson matte and the print quality will automatically change to quality for you. Then at the bottom, we need to click the mirror image box. Now we need to make sure that the colour management in Photoshop is switched off to avoid any conflict. To check that this is turned off, select colour options from the drop down menu and we are shown a warning message. If this message is displayed, then we know that the colour management is off in Photoshop and being managed correctly from the Ink Express profile. And here we click save. You are now ready to print. Thanks for watching our tutorial. For any more information, please visit our website at inkexpress.co.uk and don't forget to like and subscribe.